Uh, welcome my students. Uh, this is a Malim V or Malim Vincent. Uh, I like teaching online and I welcome you to grade 7 agriculture uh, by uh, Malim V. So uh, without wasting time, uh, I want us to start. Uh, this is a lesson 1 in uh, agriculture and uh, the first topic which is very important in our stay is about conservation of agricultural environment so this is the first topic we are going to deal with conservation of agricultural environment how do we make uh, the environment we stay in uh, safe and stop any uh, form of uh, pollution or uh, anything that uh, will make our environment unsafe so that's what we want to learn here but now based on uh, agriculture. So the first substrand which we are going to talk about is um, uh, substrand 1.1 and that is the uh, soil pollution. Soil pollution. So uh, we have talked about uh, pollution in many occasions uh, resulting from uh, contamination by harmful substances. But now when we break down we want to talk about now the pollution of soil. Soil is one of the environmental factors we have to consider uh, and ensure it is safe because it is through soil we produce food. We also get uh, water from the soil. So we have to ensure it is safe. So, um, so uh, we will learn about soil pollution and somebody might ask you what is soil pollution what is soil pollution you must have met such questions in exams in exams and um, uh, as i've just mentioned earlier that uh, soil pollution um, is defined as the uh, the contamination the contamination of the contamination of soil with harmful substances substances so we have some substances which are able to get into the soil and uh, they are harmful and since we use the soil to produce food and get water uh, that means we might end up consuming or uh, using uh, uh, contaminated products from water so that is the definition of soil pollution the simplest definition of soil pollution now uh, the the harmful substances the harmful substances uh, which pollute the soil uh, are called the harmful substances which pollute the soil are called contaminants or pollutants pollutants so you might meet a question uh, also asking you what's the meaning of contaminants or what's the meaning of pollutants so uh, simply uh, th these are the harmful substances that pollute uh, the soil there so um, that is the simplest definition of uh, soil pollution uh, contamination of soil with harmful substances and these harmful, sub have harmful substances have a name or a term we call or we call as we say as a pollutants or contaminants now let's move on to the next uh, uh, question or subheading uh, we look at causes causes uh, causes of soil pollution causes of soil pollution causes of soil pollution sorry for the typing error there causes of soil pollution causes of soil pollution so we have defined um, soil pollution as the contamination of the soil uh, through or with harmful substances and now what causes soil pollution what causes soil pollution uh, so we have to highlight various causes uh, we know uh, from uh, 
uh, what we have learned and uh, without wasting time I want to give you the causes of soil pollution there and kindly be very keen and if you are taking notes you can still take notes while we are learning uh, so cause number one of soil pollution common question in exam throughout last year that is 2023 uh, common common causes of soil pollution the first one is excessive excessive use of artificial fertilizer yes now we have uh, organic fertilizer and artificial fertilizer artificial fertilizer is a commercial fertilizer that is manufactured uh, so that it, uh, it can add nutrients to the soil but uh, most in most cases uh, it is uh, an agricultural chemical meant to boost uh, soil fertility and uh, add uh, nutrients to the soil so uh, this is one area where we are failing or the farmers are failing and that's why you can see the our cost number one has the word excessive so it doesn't mean we should not use what it means it is that um, um, we should use the right amount but let me not get to that uh, I would like us to get to that when we are looking at the control measure so excessive use of fertilizer is a pollutant uh, to soil uh, is a pollutant to the soil and that means it causes soil erosion now uh, when fertilizers when fertilizer is introduced when fertilizer is introduced is introduced to the soil what happens is that uh, it contains it contains uh, some compounds it contains nitrogenous compounds compounds that uh, compounds that have heavy metals heavy metals and these metals are able to uh, uh, accumulate accumulate to toxic levels that are dangerous levels toxic levels and become harmful so that is one uh, explanation of the cause of uh, soil pollution that is excessive use of excessive use of uh, uh, fertilizer there use of fertilizer there then uh, moving to the second point uh, number two that is um, excessive use of agricultural chemicals excessive use of agricultural chemicals excessive use of agricultural chemicals now um before i move or type the what you call the explanation uh, what are agricultural chemicals we have a lot of chemicals we use in the farm and uh, i'll give examples things like uh, um, pesticides we use pesticides uh, to control pests in agriculture we also use uh, what we call uh, herbicides herbicides help to control herbs or the weeds then we use uh, other chemicals uh, we have like foliar fertilizer the fertilizers in solution form they are also still chemicals so uh, we find out that uh, these are used excessively and they end up as harmful in the soil and they end up being harmful in the soil
so um i will just write actions uh, as a brief explanation uh, the chemicals accumulate to toxic toxic levels they shall accumulate toxic levels in the soil and become harmful and become harmful to the soil living organisms now there is also something new in the explanation soil living organisms actually uh, one uh, very important uh, constituent or uh, part of the soil is some living organisms in the soil the bacteria the decomposers all of those those are very very important uh, organisms and they help uh, with the different uh, functions in the soil and that means uh, to ensure that uh, uh, soil is safe we need them in the soil so one thing that is able to uh, kill uh, these soil organisms which we consider very important is the accumulation of chemicals so when we are using these chemicals they become more or uh, they accumulate to a level in which they are now poisonous to these organisms and these organisms die so we don't end up having important organisms in the soil anymore and that means uh, poor performance of uh, the soil or agriculture the third ex uh, cause of uh, this uh, soil pollution uh, right away i will highlight uh, uh, throwing plastic wastes throwing plastic wastes in the garden in the garden now this is a crucial point and it's a very very major cause of uh, major cause of uh, soil pollution and by this i mean that uh, most of our land currently the farming land it is very hard to miss out on uh, a plastic material inside uh, the soil uh, this is because this plastic material have been thrown into the farm for so long and they have also accumulated there now the explanation why this uh, throwing plastic waste is a soil pollution act or practice i will say that um, the bottles the plastic plastic materials the plastic materials in the farm occupy agricultural agricultural land leaving less farming space leaving less uh, farming space the plastics the plastics also interfere with uh, growing growing crops also interfere with growing crops now the fourth and last uh, uh, soil pollutant or contaminant or cause of soil pollution is throwing throwing uh, chemical bottles throwing of chemical uh, bottles or containers in farming land in farming land and this one is almost similar to the first two points uh, that uh, uh, the chemicals from the containers uh, say they are harmful and they get into the soil and become pollutants chemicals chemicals from the containers get into the soil they get into the soil and accumulate to toxic levels which toxic levels which uh, become harmful to soil living organisms so 
uh, also these chemicals from the containers uh, are able to accumulate in the soil and they become harmful once they reach the toxic level where the organisms cannot survive any anymore so um, that is all about to do with causes of soil pollution uh, I want to give you a break of one minute or two minutes and then we'll come back to look at uh, what we call uh, control of soil pollution control of soil pollution <laughs> 